the Carol can, and there is a new mainline. I was shocked. I was uh, really shocked. Uh, it turned out that the Bishop F5 line is no longer the main line in the Carol can. Uh, so, are you just as curious as you look? Let's see what it is. Uh, and it has uh, probably something to do with uh, the faster time control at the moment at the, at the top level due to the coronavirus. Everything is online, it's blitz, it's ravages, and, uh, and, and that makes this line very appealing. Okay, I cannot uh, keep the suspense going any longer, uh, so let's see what we are talking about. This is the Caracan, this is, and this is the main line. Maybe you could argue that E5 is the main line, uh, but, uh, but this is, is uh, according to the old uh, encyclopedia of chess openings, this is definitely the main line um, and has many more echo codes, as they're called, than, than the E5 system. And here, uh, this used to be uh, uh, the, the big main line um, with, for black, and, and black is, is actually doing pretty well in this line. But recently, uh, it has been completely superseded by knight f6. And this used to be the old uh, last variation, and here he would take with the g pawn. Uh, very double edge, and I think uh, probably not completely sound. But recently, uh, everybody's playing this move. Um, and I remember growing up, and um, and people talking, but this pawn structure is a disaster for black because uh, the pawn ending is lost. Um, and it's probably true, it could be lost. Uh, the, 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 the idea is that with, with these pawns here, black will not be able uh, to create a pass pawn on the king side. Unlike white, that easily can uh, create a pass pawn with these moves. Um, and that's true. In, in a pure pawn ending, uh, the, the odds are on white to win or, or have a, the good end of a draw. Uh, uh, also, uh, a lot of light up piece endings uh, should be clearly better for white. But, uh, as Tara said, uh, before the ending comes the middle game. And if we look at that, we see that um, not only uh, does white, uh, black have uh, two open files in the center, you also have um, really long range bishops that can easily be developed. Especially this, uh, this fellow down here has a lot of problems getting out in a lot of openings. And here, yes, no problems. Um, it's not a problem at all. And, um, and uh, these pawns here on the king side makes black's king side position very solid. So not only does black have uh, free piece play, uh, he also have a very solid king's uh, side position. And uh, black has found ways to utilize uh, the, the double pawns on, on the f-file, so they are maybe not such a big weakness. Uh, so recently, uh, black has been scoring quite well, and we will see some uh, rabbit and blitz games from the internet uh, with this position, where we see some of, uh, of, of the ideas. If you make some sort of an analogy, uh, you can say that this uh, the, the piece play for black is a little bit like uh, he, he, you have when you have an isolated pawn. But here, instead of an isolated pawn that could be lost, you have um, a double pawn that makes your your some that's not weak. Uh, the f pawns are not going anywhere. You're not going to lose one of those anytime soon, and they are making your king safer. So. So a uh, look of it, it sounds like a better deal, right? Okay, let's go into it. Uh, this is um, this game is from the 4th of May this year. It's from Title Tuesday. Uh, Ari Antari is one of the heroes of the line with black, and he is black against uh, Diego Sol Rodriguez Flores Quellas. I'm sure I totally uh, messed that pronunciation up. Okay, uh, this is the main line uh, for white. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, to to sort of start a battery down here and and earlier uh, early days black played something like this and white will storm the castle and will castle queenside and 
and black didn't do very well in these positions. The, 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 even though with one extra pawn on the, uh, the, the king side, all white's pieces will join the attack and, and you might get mated. Uh, but uh, here comes the real shocker. Boo! What is that? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the ace pawn. And, um, and that's very dynamic. And uh, it turns out uh, this is, is actually quite good for, uh, for black. Just uh, pushing the pawn and getting space on the king side. And, and actually, uh, it looks very un unsafe to, to, to move the pawn forward. But, but white has, uh, black has doing, been doing very well with this move. And it's also very provocative. So if white has never seen it before, he will get a real shock. Um, okay, get on with the castle. And I think castling queen side makes more sense uh, to be honest uh, because here uh, we already see that i actually have a lot of pieces going uh, going oops uh, this way here the bishops and uh, and the rooks and and so on and there's the king is here is is very safe okay uh, a3 stopping the pawn uh, but now we see that this uh, diagonal, and then we will see that in, in many examples, we will have three games, and I think there is a theme in all of them, is a problem. Okay, getting the knight out, and um, and it's go, going this way. Uh, sometimes black um, black tries to, to put the knight here, uh, and let the martial attack, um, and, and, and often plays uh, b5 as well and, and has a reasonably good position. It, it can go, go this route. Um, and white doesn't like to take it because if he takes uh, the knight, even though black's position, uh, the pawn structure is a, is a horrible mess, the white squares are disasters uh, for, for white. Okay, c4. Oops, something went wrong there. Um, and, and, and black is, is developing quite an easy. Um, rook in here. One of the plans could be this move. Um, oops, I'm really messing up here. Um, uh, and and anyway, uh, you're preventing d5, uh, a3. And uh, what to do here with black? What is the recommended move? Um, you get two points if you saw this move. So. Basic plan, something like this. Queen mate here, queen here, queen c7. This was not. This was of course with the idea to uh, to do this, and then uh, black white realized that e2 would be hanging. So after this, it's not very much fun. Uh, you can move the knight, then comes d5. Um, you can prove this runs. Oops. This, okay, I'll just show you. This runs into this move, and uh, and it's all over. So um, the white and and of of course this runs into this move, and uh, one, the knight can't move because of mate. So white was forced to play this disastrous move, making this rook very very strong. Um, black just plays f5, making sure nothing is is, is going on here. Knight goes around, and this is coming uh, to a square near your king. And well, how to escape that? Well, oops, the battery here is uh, still live and active. Uh, the black death star is, is fully operational. And of course, this was a blitz game, so uh, it was we just see the end very fast. It's not very interesting here. Of course, black is, is much better. And, he, and here um, we see this. And one of the nice things for black is that this um, uh, this uh, file actually always help, uh, makes the king escape impossible. So, okay, the bishop can't move now. Four and check. Check, check, and here he gave up. Uh, when the knight, <laughs> he's gonna lose a piece at least. Um, so this was a nice little example of how to play with black. And we will quickly move on to the next game. 
uh, so we will not save this one. And this was uh, the one that first caught my attention, was played in March. It was uh, Max Blamadam against Arian Tari, and it's with, it was a rabbit game, so it was more um, more serious. And also White was uh, is a, is a strong player with 25-35, so, uh, so it's interesting. To, and he cannot have been surprised by this, because it's, uh, this is played a lot. Uh, and it's a lot played a lot by uh, young players like Jeffrey Xiong, uh, Grandelius, uh, Asmus Svane, and and also players like Elianov, and uh, and even as we will see in the next game, Ding Liron has played this. So it's got the stamp of approval from the best guys in the world. Okay, let me see this, and um, well, I'm, somehow I'm I'm not I'm a little bit skeptical still, but. But uh, at the moment, uh, Black is scoring more than 50% for this position uh, in, 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 in recent master practice. And we see this move again. And of course, White is no longer surprised, but he still castled this way. And he was afraid that the pawn might crawl all the way. Uh, this moving the H pawn was also a trademark of uh, Bent Larsen. I see, it's easy to play this. You just do the same thing. Here you play this, and um, of course, this is still a problem. And the king comes, the queen come in. Oh, and I can, but. And here comes a strong move from black. D5. Um, just making sure the white queen doesn't get to this square. This was uh, this was the idea, and it looks terribly anti-positional. But this king here, he's not safe. He's not safe at all. And um, well, it doesn't look so bad for black, right? But it is bad. Uh, this threatens this pawn, and it's, it also threatens this move attacking here and and white is actually in very serious trouble here which is what was i found a bit surprising the thing is he can't uh, he can't get this uh, this out and the knight is, is trapped and and this pawn is on t2 is very difficult to defend so here and um, a petit combination bishop f5 cannot be well you can take it but then uh, this one will drop, and then this one will drop. And White's king is not getting any saber. And please notice that Black's king is like sitting on a... Um, uh, yeah, I don't know what, uh, but it's very, very safe. Okay, but White is not threatening. Black is not threatening anything, because if, if he takes an e4, you can just take back. Uh, or d3, um, king d7. But white doesn't have any good moves. That's that's another problem, an a4. But he did have a threat. He was just making sure nothing bad could happen. He comes here, and here is uh, white moves and black uh, black moves and white resigns. And it's very simple, or not. And we see that this and this is kind of easy to miss with this pin. These kind of backwards pins, uh, pin from behind, are, are, are very easy to miss. And of course, uh, the pin also works. Um, go of my mouse here on the night, and and this this one is a goner, and uh, white resigned. So that was a sort of a model game from black, and it looks very easy. Just Get the bishop out, make a battery from uh, b8 to uh, a2, and uh, run after the king, and it will die. And um, well, let's see um, the next game. Um, it's Mamadat Mamadzad Sara uh, versus Ding Liren in the uh, Challengers 2024 uh, Blitz. Um, and obviously, of course, it's not a serious game, but uh, but nevertheless, it's, it gives a good example. And and White might 
start to consider other ways of, of learning. The problem is that the, the open e file is is making uh, it, it difficult to, to, to sort of, it could maybe be nice to put the bishop here, but, but then the pressure on the e file would be annoying and so on. So this, this setup looks like the best setup. Also, if you put the knight here, um, then a knight here might be uh, annoying uh, together with with this rook here. So it's it's not so easy to find a, a good setup. And and this h5 is yeah well, it's provocative and uh, annoying. And in, in, if we we do another video on this line, we will look at white casting queenside. I think if this should be part of the black side repertoire uh, on DM talks. It could be a, 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 a serious option and white. And um, we see the same. And um, basically white is, uh, is not. Uh, the, the problem is, the problem is simply um, that this is, 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 is really annoying. It's losing a pawn. Um, or something else, maybe more. I don't know. So, so you and and it looks like white also, but but due to the unfortunate position of the the queen, it's well. So it comes again, and uh, I, I'm, I guess this will not work anymore. And here uh, was was the easy way. How to? Yes, we see that pin was very annoying before, um, and uh, white is all black is already. Uh, threatening this, this, and and this <laughs> queen takes d1 will be made. Oh, oh, and there's well, you cannot cover f4, and of course, the rest is doesn't make any sense. Oops. And white gave up. He's losing all the pawns, um, and that was a very easy game for Ding Liering against a 24-43 player. So this is the new main line for uh, at the Karakan, and we see that black is uh, taking on a slightly dubious uh, structure, but he gets a very safe king, get free peace play, and attacking chances. Uh, so what's not to like? It's just that. It doesn't feel like a caro can where you you think people are sort of a little bit scared and they want to have a nice structure and so on. And here they just say, okay, let's fight, fight, fight. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. This was your host, Suneberg Hansen from GM Talks.